Hi everyone, Rob here, and in this video, I just wanted to show you a, a new thing that Ecamm has inside of it, uh, which is camera overlays. And this can help you out whether or not you have multiple cameras on your setup, uh, or you want to prepare for guests and setting up your scenes. So it's, it's a really neat idea, really neat concept, and uh, here is a little more about it. So let's just show you what these camera overlays are, where they're located on Ecamm Live, and some of the cool things that you can do with this. Now, if you enjoy this video, please make sure you like it and subscribe. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So here is the Ecamm interface, and I just have the scenes open up right over here on the left, and then I also have the overlays. And, and those are the two important ones that we're going to be utilizing. So with the camera overlays, uh, to set things up and uh, let you see what's going on, uh, I'm gonna go up here to source, and then I'm going to go to blank. And that's just gonna give me a black background. Uh, again, that's something new for these camera overlays, allowing you to quickly create something. Uh, with that black background that you don't way you don't have to worry about having your camera going on in the background so the the next thing here is the button uh, i'm going to click on this where it says new camera overlay and if you're familiar with overlays you're, you'll notice that uh, anything over here is sort of like on a layer um, but we'll discuss that a little bit later in the video but we are able to move the overlay around anywhere where you like uh, you'll notice that we have a little pen icon right here that allows us to change the camera source to whatever we would like. So if I were to click on this, I have some options available to me. Uh, the first one is what camera. So notice that I have the Canon Rebel plugged in right now. I also have the Logitech Brio, so I can select that. And then you are also given the opportunity to choose between what type of aspect ratio would you like. So there's pre-formatted ones. That way you can keep things consistent. Uh, they even have round and tall. Now, if you don't see one of these fit in your needs, uh, there's always the custom. You don't get to enter in the custom data, but you are able to stretch and grow your overlay window. Uh, notice that there's no cropping masking. It's more or less keeping you in the center of the frame. Now, there is a neat way that you can duplicate things. Uh, so just like on any Mac app, you can hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, click and drag, and that allows you to create the same size. Uh, and if you want to change the camera source, you definitely can to something else. Now, imagine that you would like to set up scenes for maybe guests coming in. So you can definitely assign the camera to be a guest. And you can even adjust the length and width using your custom ratio. And also, you can come over here to the camera effects, choose guest four, and you can even pre-set up your zoom as well. So a lot of neat things that you can actually do and customize with this camera overlay. Now, something that I did want to show you is that you are able to bring in things like this. I have some preset up scenes here, um, but no longer are you having to cut out around the computer image to get this effect. Um, let me go ahead and unlock this because you can see that this is totally white right here. And this right here is just a normal camera overlay that I have set up. And all I did is I put my overlay on top of the computer and then I sized it. And then once I had it sized properly, now it's time to lock it so I don't accidentally click it. So again, lots of neat things that you can do uh, with this. Again, more scenes set up, uh, giving you that, that custom edge and feel of your live. All right. Now, as far as setting up uh, interviews, um, I thought that this would be a great time to show you how it is to go from scratch to setting up 
something for maybe a nice interview backdrop and stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the hit the plus sign here to create my new scene. I'm going to go ahead and change my source right now to blank. That way I'm not distracted by the camera. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring in one of my interview overlays that I've created in Canva. So this is where I'm going to just use my mouse wheel and scroll up. And that way I am set up there. And then the next thing that I want to do is I want to bring in uh, an overlay for the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And I would like to be over here. So guess what? I need to pick my custom sizing because you can see over here it's not sized properly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Go down here to custom. And again, that allows me to drag my image so that it fits inside of there, which is kind of neat. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to my Brio. And then I need to get the camera out of the view. So with this selected over here, I'm going to go to uh, the camera effects with the zoom and pan. And now I'm just going to zoom in and try to get that microphone out of my face. And then I'm going to just zoom in just a little bit more. All right, so the next thing that I would like to do is I'd like to set this one up over here so that I can have my guest. So again, I'm going to duplicate me. So I'm holding the Alt key down, bringing this over. And I'm filling this box up. And let me go ahead and change this camera source from Logitech Brio to Guest 1. And now we are set up for our guest to come in. But the one thing that we're missing are name tags underneath here. So let me move this out of the way. We can do that by clicking on the Add Text Overlay. And here, I'm going to choose No Background, and I'm going to put my name on here. And I'm going to click on Add. I am going to double click here uh, because I would like to make this fly in. So I'm going to click the fly in and hit save. All right. So let me go ahead and duplicate this for my guest. So I held the Alt key down and I'm just dragging over here. And uh, their name is Jared. And I'm going to go ahead and click on save. So that way, when my guest comes in for tomorrow's interview, I'm able to add him right here and I've done all my prepping. So when I actually change scenes, you'll notice that if I go to my, my new one here with the, with the interview, we have the names that are flying in from the left and right side, which is kind of neat. All right. So again, that is the image overlay. Uh, keep in mind, if you, if you got things out of order, uh, if you look over here on the, on the left-hand side of the screen, you'll notice that we are able to drag these around like a, like a layered cake. So if you happen to bring in your background a little late, no worries, you can go ahead and move it in the layer to make it fit perfectly. All right. So again, hey guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you liked this video. You got something out of it. Thumbs up and subscribe. Have a great day.